New at four, a chilling cold case confession in Fairfax County. It was three decades in the making, but just hours ago, 52 year old Stefan Smirk pleaded guilty to first degree murder. He confessed to killing Robin Lawrence back in 1994, stabbing her 49 times in her Springfield home. All the while, her little girl was just steps away. Our Matthew Torres was in the courtroom today. He spoke to the victim's family and Matthew, his confession to police it was chilling, it was dark, and it was disturbing. Simone, it really was. And the big question was why he would murder a woman he did not know. The Commonwealth has argued that he was simply wanting to kill no matter what. And in a confession to detectives, Stefan Smirk even viewed himself as a possible serial killer. Prosecutors say in his confession to police, 52-year-old Stefan Smirk said, quote, I cut her up pretty good. He was talking about murdering 37-year-old Robin Lawrence, who was found next to her bed in her Springfield home with 49 stab wounds. 30 years after her murder, Smirk finally admitted he was guilty. He looks like he doesn't have a soul. Friday, Lawrence's family watched him plead guilty to first-degree murder. Smirk was in Arlington in 1994 in his first year with the Army. The Commonwealth says he wanted to drive far enough from his barracks just to kill. He chose Lawrence's home at random, broke in and killed the woman while her two-year-old daughter also in the home. This was the type of crime that shocks a community. A Northern Virginia lab used a DNA database to suspect sketches. The investigation led Fairfax County cold case detectives to upstate New York last year, where Smirk worked as a software engineer. Smirk admitted to what he did and during his interview said, quote, I've not killed anyone else, but if not for my wife and kids, I probably would be a serial killer. Lawrence's sister was in the courtroom. I can't grapple with that or anything of what he did, that he just happened to pick my sister's house and go in and take her life for no reason other than what was in his head. Smirk threw the murder weapon into a river while driving over a bridge. Difficult details for loved ones who remember the victim as beautiful and vibrant. It blew our family apart. And for many, many years, it was just uh, very difficult. But at least he is no longer on the streets. He's no longer a danger to any other family or person. Now, Smirk accepted a plea deal, which means he would have to face jail time no more than 70 years. He is also eligible for parole, but the Commonwealth's attorney says that here in Virginia, it is pretty rare to see that granted for someone in his position. Simone. To hear his own confession that he thought he might be a serial killer himself, and then to see the damage that he has done to this poor family, I think he's exactly where he needs to be. Matthew, we appreciate your reporting on this tonight. Thank you.